Son, and the Holy Spirit. Today's Gospel reading has Jesus teaching his followers about what is the Kingdom of God. And he gives a number of, uh, of examples and analogies because how is it that we can talk about what we have no understanding of? How, how can we talk about <clears throat> not only something that we haven't ever seen, but something that is beyond our perception, beyond our experience at this point in time? There's nothing wrong with that. But it's a little bit like trying to explain the colour red to someone who is colourblind. What can you say? Well, you can say the best that you can. It's a little lighter than this, it's a little darker than that. Uh, it's, it's the colour that you get in, in, in this experience. And, and this is what our Lord is doing his best to do. To explain in human language that which transcends language. It's a tough job. One of the things that he says is that, it, well, it's not like his audience imagines. Because one of the things that he says is, you may not get in. And he's talking to a group of people where they, they if had someone asked them, the answer would likely have been, this is the birthright. We were born going to receive heaven, going to receive um, being with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. Now it's very, very tempting for us to, to point at them and for us to fall into the same mistake ourselves. This is a trap. Let's avoid it. But what? What does it say? Many people come from everywhere. This was entirely foreign to this to the people that our Lord was speaking to. Everywhere, there'll be people from that direction, people from over there. We're not even going to name the countries and name the ethnicities, name the cultures, because all of them, all of the cardinal directions, from Judea where they were, in every direction. North, south, east, west. That tells us something about the kingdom. It tells us that the kingdom is not for me and for my people. It's not for me and for my community or location. It's for all kinds of people. This is a kingdom that crosses barriers. This is a kingdom of intersection. A kingdom where, where all sorts are welcome, even us, where, where all are welcome into the kingdom. The hard part here is that we're not left as we are. Being a part of this kingdom changes us. Being a part of this kingdom means that we're called to something greater means that we're called to be following the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The next step in following him is doing as he does. Our part here is that when we talk about his kingdom being on earth as it is in heaven, well, this should start in our own communities, this should start it in our churches. And that's where that's where we need to be making that kingdom happen and welcoming the outsider. Hospitality, um, welcome, and not only to welcome for a time and then done, to welcome, to incorporate, that they may likewise be welcoming more and more into God's kingdom. It's our great joy to be welcoming. It's our great joy to invite others. Sometimes it'll come with its own perils. If they're those kind of people, or if we don't know what kind of people that they are, then we're still called to be welcoming. And that is a great challenge for us. It's a challenge that I feel confident 
that we will rise to. Whether that's overnight, or whether that's incrementally bit by bit. That we strive to welcome people as being co-travellers towards heaven. That we journey together towards Christ and following Christ. That we may be, that we may hear the words, well done, good and faithful servant. It's good and faithful servant if we're serving the king. Well done, good and faithful servant. Now inherit the kingdom. This is that straight gate that was mentioned in today's gospel reading. That narrow gate. This is straight and spelt as in Taurus <coughs> straight, where there's a little gap narrow entry. It's not the easy one. And this narrow entry is one that is that is difficult, that is tough, but it is beyond none of us. And may we strive with all that we have with all that we have to draw closer to him to encourage the people around us to draw closer to him. That all of us may grow into the fullness of the stature of Christ.